So far, we've learned how to find the, um, the greatest common factor between two numbers, plain numbers, using uh, prime factorization. Then we threw in some variable terms with the numbers, and we still found out we were able to find the greatest common factor. Now what we're going to do is we're going to be factoring an expression, something like this, right here. And the directions will be factor 3x squared minus 6xy by greatest common factor. And we're, I'm going to show you how we're going to get this answer, which is right here, in a minute. Okay. Um, the thing about factoring is that it's the reverse of multiplication. We've done quite a bit of multiplications in previous chapters. Um, and just understand that factoring is taking the, the answer that you got when you multiplied and then getting going backwards and finding out what the factors are. And one of those factors that we're going to look for is the greatest common factor. So how do we start with 3x squared minus 6xy, and how do we wind up with 3x times x minus 2y? All right, here's the, here's the procedure. Number one, find the GCF, greatest common factor, between 3x squared and 6xy. I think you see that that's 3x. Should be getting pretty good at that at this point. That's the greatest common factor. To find the other factors, so that's this guy right here. That's this part right here. Okay? To find the other factor inside the parentheses, okay, and remember we started with two terms, right? We did start with two terms, 3x squared minus 6xy. What we're going to do is we're going to take 3x squared, the first term, and divide it by 3x, which happens to be the greatest common factor. And when I divide 3x squared by 3x, I wind up with 3's canceled, I wind up with x to the first power. Then I take 6xy and divide it by 3x. 3 goes into 6 twice, the x is canceled, and I'm left with y. So, x minus 2y, this is the other factor. I'm going to put a parenthesis around it. Okay. So the answer happens to be 3x, which is the greatest common factor, times parentheses x minus 2y. Okay. Now, just a, as a quick check, kind of, it's not really a check, but it, at least you'll, you can tell whether or not your, the answer you wrote down it, uh, multiplies out correctly. Use the distributive property. What is 3x times x? 3x times x is 3x squared. And I get 3x times x is 3x squared right here. Okay. And what is 3x times 2y is, minus, is 6xy. And I could take that minus sign and slide it over. Okay. You could think of this as 3x times negative 2y, if, the, if you think like that. That's minus 6xy. Or just do 3x times 2y, which is 6xy, and slide the subtraction sign over. Okay? We're using the distributive property. Why don't you try this problem and just pause the video. What you want to do is factor by, G, by GCF 36xy to the third power plus 20y. Okay, um, hit the pause button, and I'll be back in about five seconds. So the, the number one, find the GCF. The GCF should be 4y. Okay. Uh, in order to find the other factor, divide each term by the GCF. So we have to take 36xy cubed and divide it by 4y, and take 20y and divide it by 4y. When I divide, I get 9 Y, when I, I get 9xy squared, right? y to the third divided by y to the first is y to the second when I divide, when I cancel. And then the y's cancel out on the second part, and I just get plus 5. So that's it. The answer, so the answer is, when I'm asked to factor by GCF that expression, the answer is 4y is the greatest common factor. Then in parentheses, the binomial factor 9xy squared plus 5. Okay? And if you check to multiply that out, you'll see that you do get the original polynomial that I started with. Last problem coming up. This one has three terms. All right, so what we want to do here is factor by GCF 24xy to the third plus 16y minus 12xy. 
So we haven't done one of these, but the process, the procedure is, or the algorithm it's called, is very, very similar. Number one, find the GCF of the three terms of this expression. All right, I'm going to write out the prime factors right above it, each one of those numbers. So what you see is the prime factorization of each one of the numerical coefficients. First one is 2 to the third times 3, 16 is 2 to the fourth, and the last one is 12 is 2 to the second times 3. All right, is it, it's clear that 2 is a factor in all three of these, correct? So how many times is it a common factor in all three? Well, the first one has three twos, the second one has four twos, and the third one has two twos. So therefore, the largest number of times that two is a common factor is twice. So we're looking for in all three now, instead of instead of a two terms, now I gotta cons consider my concern myself with the third term. Okay? So two is a factor twice. That's the largest, it's the that's the greatest common factor, largest number of times that two is a factor in all three parts. Okay? In all three prime factorizations. How about three? Well, three is a factor in the first one, it's a factor in the last one, but it's not a factor in the middle one, so I can't put three in there at all. As far as the variables, x is a factor in the first, but it's not in the second, and it is in the third, so it's not in the greatest common factor. How about y? y is a factor three times in the first one, right here, three times, y, y, y. y is a factor here once, y is a factor here once, so therefore, y is a um, the largest number of times that y is a common factor in all three of these is one, just one. So I have no matches for the, there were three y's in the first one. I don't have any matches for the other two y's. I just have a match for the first y. So the greatest common factor turns out to be four y. All right, let's fill in to get the other factor. Now that we know the greatest common factor, let's fill this in. So I filled in my um, greatest common factor here in these three places, and I divided each term by the greatest common factor. Uh, the first division, the y, uh, y's cancel, the x remains on top, and y to the third divided by y to the first is y to the second. Second, second term, 16y divided by 4y, it's 4, the y's cancel, and finally, its last one is minus 3x. So, the answer is, remember, 4y, which was my greatest common factor, that goes in front, and the other factor, the other polynomial factor, this time it's got three terms, because I started with three terms, is 6xy squared plus 4 minus 3x. Again, check by multiplying out 4y times each one of those three terms and see if you wind up with the original polynomial. Factoring by greatest common factor.